Astronomers are on the edge of their telescopes with the recent findings related to Betelgeuse, one of the most recognized stars in our night sky. Nestled within the constellation Orion, this behemoth has been showing erratic dimming patterns, hinting at a significant transformation. Drawing from years of data collection and spectral analysis, astronomers are bracing for a stellar spectacle, a supernova. Unlike a regular nova, which results from surface explosions, a supernova stems from the very core of a star, releasing energy so tremendous that it can momentarily outshine its entire host galaxy. The term imminent takes on a different meaning when discussing cosmic timescales. For stars, processes that seem on the brink of happening can still span millions of years. In Betelgeuse's case, imminent might be within our lifetime or several thousands of years away. However, given the star's age and its recent behavior, the consensus among the astronomical community leans towards witnessing this monumental event sooner than previously anticipated. When Betelgeuse does go supernova, its brilliance will be so pronounced that it would be visible even during daylight and might even rival the moon's brightness during nighttime. Betelgeuse's notoriety isn't just due to its impending supernova status. As a red supergiant, it's one of the largest and most luminous stars known. Its diameter is about 1,400 times that of our Sun. If it were placed at the Sun's position, its outer layers would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. Beyond its size, its intriguing life cycle, transitioning from fusing hydrogen to helium and heavier elements, and its variable brightness have always made it a subject of intensive study and public fascination. With every new discovery, Betelgeuse continues to challenge our understanding of stellar evolution, keeping both professionals and stargazers eagerly awaiting its next move. Sitting at the heart of our solar system is the Sun, an immense ball of glowing gas. It's more than just a light source. It's the gravitational anchor for our planetary family. With a staggering diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers, it could comfortably fit over a million Earths. Yet, in the vast cosmic scale, our Sun is considered a modest-sized star. Its magnitude and influence on our world are undeniable, but in the wider universe, there are celestial entities that dwarf even this behemoth. Enter Betelgeuse. If our Sun were a marble, Betelgeuse would be a beach ball. Its diameter is approximately 800 times that of the Sun, a scale so vast that it's challenging to truly grasp. This red supergiant isn't just vast in size, its luminosity is equally astounding. Emitting light with an intensity about 10,000 times brighter than our sun, Betelgeuse's brilliance outshines almost all stars in its vicinity. The Orion constellation, a collection of stars that paints a warrior figure in our night sky, has been a navigator's guide and storyteller's muse for millennia. Dominating this constellation is none other than Betelgeuse, serving as the hunter's left shoulder, especially prominent during winter nights in the Northern Hemisphere. Its ruddy hue contrasts sharply with the blue-white brilliance of Rigel, Orion's other prominent star. While Betelgeuse's enormity and luminosity have long been known, it's the star's unpredictable behavior that recently captured global attention. In October 2019, astronomers and astrophysicists observed an uncharacteristic and dramatic dimming of the star. This reduction in brightness set off waves of speculation. Was it a sign of the star's impending death, or was there another phenomenon at play? As science seeks to unravel this mystery, Betelgeuse remains a cosmic enigma, reminding us of the vastness and unpredictability of the universe we inhabit. When stars of Betelgeuse's magnitude and life cycle exhibit erratic behavior, the astronomical community buzzes with anticipation. The dramatic dimming in 2019 led to a tidal wave of speculation. Among these, the most tantalizing theory was that Betelgeuse might be on the verge of its final act, turning into a supernova. Stars, like living organisms, have life cycles. For a star as massive as Betelgeuse, the culmination of this cycle often ends in a spectacular explosion, dispersing its elements across the cosmos. This event, a supernova, signifies the end of a star's life and the beginning of its legacy. Yet science, ever the disciplined observer, requires evidence. 
As telescopes turned en masse towards this mysterious red supergiant, further observations painted a slightly less dramatic but equally fascinating picture. The culprit behind the dimming wasn't the imminent death of the star. Instead, Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of hot, dense material. This material, casting a shadow-like effect, was substantial enough to create a noticeable dip in Betelgeuse's brightness. Such events aren't uncommon for aging stars and this ejection offered a first-hand glimpse into the volatile processes that rage within such celestial giants. While the immediate supernova theories might have been premature, the fate of Betelgeuse is, in cosmic terms, sealed. The question isn't if, but when. When that day arrives, the light show will be unprecedented. A supernova of Betelgeuse's stature would radiate with an intensity that could rival our moon's glow. Imagine, a distant star, light years away, shining almost as brightly in our night sky as the crescent or even a full moon. For a few weeks, Earth would experience nights bathed in a surreal, ethereal light, a testament to the tremendous power and beauty of the universe's natural processes. First and foremost, for those who might be concerned, the supernova of Betelgeuse, while monumental, would pose minimal direct threats to Earth. A key aspect of supernova events is the emission of gamma rays, high-energy radiation bursts that can be detrimental in large quantities. Fortunately, given the vast distance between Betelgeuse and our planet, any gamma rays produced by the eventual explosion would dissipate throughout the vast expanse of space. By the time they reached us, their intensity would be diluted to levels that are unlikely to impact Earth's atmosphere or its biosphere significantly. Beyond the explosion, the remains of Betelgeuse have a story of their own. As the intense gravitational forces come into play after the supernova, the remnants of this majestic star are predicted to coalesce into a neutron star. These celestial bodies are incredibly dense. Imagine the mass of our sun, but compressed into a space not much larger than a city. Neutron stars are a testament to the extremes of physics exhibiting properties and behaviors that challenge our understanding of the universe. While Betelgeuse commands attention due to its proximity and unpredictability, in the broader cosmic arena, there are even larger players. One such star is Stevenson II, 18. Currently recognized as the largest known star, its enormity dwarfs Betelgeuse, a reminder that the universe is full of wonders beyond our current comprehension always pushing the boundaries of what we believe to be possible. In a universe brimming with mysteries, another stellar explosion made its presence known, albeit in a location astronomers least expected, outside the galactic plane. Named Hoinga, this significant stellar explosion was discovered in a region where such events are typically rare. It stands as evidence that the cosmos often operates beyond our established patterns and predictions, reminding us that the universe is ever-evolving and our understanding must evolve with it. The story of Hoinga serves as an inspiring lesson. Always be prepared for the unexpected and never stop looking beyond the horizon. When we cast our gaze upon stars like Betelgeuse, we're not just marveling at distant luminous bodies. We're diving deep into cosmic history books, understanding the intricate processes and life stages of such massive stars offers us a roadmap to grasp the life cycles of stars across the universe, including the one at the heart of our solar system, the Sun. While our Sun is significantly smaller and has a different trajectory, observing the behavior and progression of larger stars can still provide pivotal clues. As stars go through their life phases, from birth and nebulae to the main sequence phase, and finally to their explosive or quiet demises, they leave behind patterns and phenomena that inform our broader understanding of stellar evolution. If the universe had its own collection of oddities and wonders, neutron stars would undoubtedly be among its most prized exhibits. The aftermath of supernovae, these stars are the universe's ultimate lesson in compactness. Think about this. A neutron star can have a mass exceeding that of our sun, yet its entire existence is compressed into a sphere with a radius of just about 10 kilometers. This intense compactness results in some of the most extreme conditions in the known universe. Their gravity is so potent that even light struggles to escape, and their surfaces exhibit tremendous pressures and temperatures. 
Observing and understanding these extreme objects deepens our comprehension of physics, testing the limits of what's possible. Across the cosmic expanse, there are stars, and then there are stars. Stevenson II, 18 is decidedly of the latter variety. Its classification as a potentially luminous blue variable or a Wolf-Rayet star is not merely a label, but a testament to its tumultuous existence. These categories of stars are in especially volatile phases of their lifetimes. They are behemoths that undergo dramatic changes, shedding significant amounts of their mass in powerful stellar winds. These processes are so intense that they can affect nearby cosmic structures and even play a role in triggering the birth of new stars. By studying such dramatic stellar entities, we are reminded of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe, where creation and destruction often dance side by side. Supernova remnants are the cosmic aftermaths left behind after a star has ended its life in a spectacular explosion. Among these remnants, Hoinga stands as a sentinel to the vast energies and intricate processes that unfolded during the star's final moments. These remnants are not mere space debris. They are cosmic laboratories. They offer us a window into the mechanisms that drive stellar explosions. The dispersion of elements which later become the building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. The life and death of stars, as chronicled by remnants like Hoinga, also play a crucial role in shaping galaxies. Supernovae distribute essential heavy elements throughout interstellar space, enriching the medium from which new celestial bodies will form. Moreover, the force of these explosions can trigger the formation of new stars, setting off a domino effect of stellar birth across regions of a galaxy. This cyclical process of death and rebirth in the cosmos ensures that galaxies remain vibrant and ever-evolving entities. In our quest to decode the universe's vast mysteries, tools like the Hubble Space Telescope have been indispensable allies. It's not just about magnification, but clarity. Positioned above Earth's atmosphere, Hubble avoids the distortions that ground-based telescopes might encounter. This vantage point has unlocked views of space phenomena with unprecedented precision and detail. With instruments like Hubble, we've been able to delve deeper into the stories of distant stars, galaxies, and phenomena like supernova remnants. It's a journey of discovery that has expanded our understanding of processes, taking place millions, if not billions, of light years away. By capturing light from different periods of the universe's history, these telescopes also offer us a time machine of sorts, allowing glimpses into the very early epochs of the cosmos. In essence, the synergy between our understanding of phenomena like Hoinga and the technological prowess of instruments like Hubble has propelled us into a golden age of astronomy, where the stories of the stars are more accessible and vivid than ever before. Stargazers, our celestial voyage draws to an end. What do the mysteries of the universe whisper to you? If you've enjoyed our interstellar odyssey, illuminate the like button, join our cosmic crew by subscribing, and for another space exploration, click the video on your screen now. Until next time, may the stars light your way. Safe travels, space adventurers.